you are where you deserve to be. I will chant that until the cows come home in every facet of life. I genuinely believe you are where you deserve to be. And for me today, I was beautifully humbled by whoever it is you believe is up there or around us. For me, I was beautifully humbled by the universe. I spent the early afternoon procrastinating when I was perfectly set up to make way and head off to the gym. But I didn't do that. I procrastinated doing a whole load of fuck all. So when I arrived at the gym, I was devoid of any and all energy. I hadn't earned any. I hadn't deserved any today. So when I got into the part of my day where I required energy from within to fuel me and drive me to work hard and enjoy hard work, I had none. And that was all my fault. I only have myself to blame for that. It was all my fault. However, these days can often be some of the most valuable, in my opinion, due to the fact that you are tasked with a challenge far greater than lifting a PR, far greater than physically exerting yourself. And the challenge is... The challenge is mental. It's all mental. We live in a mental universe. On days like today, there is no difficulty in moving away. There is no difficulty in moving a cable, moving your body. All the difficulty is in transmuting your mind and altering the state in which you currently reside. And that is one of the most difficult things. One term I like to use is the idea of being a mental alchemist. And I got that from a, from a book called Kai Billion. I read a long time ago now. It's a great book. The mental alchemy, in very short and simple terms, is simply the ability to change a state in the same way an alchemist can change certain materials to other materials. <laughs> One must be able to and work on his ability to alter his state. And that shit ain't easy. It's not easy at all. Some people are far better than others. Some people are just in constant control of their state and never allow it to be altered unless they choose it to. That is some elite level of consciousness, if you ask me. But us mere mortals are often tasked with... Repenting for our sins, so to speak, and paying the debts of the day. That's a nice way to put it. Paying the debts of the day. If you didn't earn the right to land at the gym and be full of energy and vigor and have a burning desire to work hard and physically exert yourself, then you're not going to feel that way. You're going to feel the complete opposite. You're going to look for every excuse to go home. You're going to look for every excuse to do a few less reps, leave some reps on the table, lift some lighter weight, so on and so forth. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. Because otherwise you will be forced to pay the debt. If it is a mission of yours to work out today, Make sure you set yourself up for, for success. Don't fuck around scrolling on your phone, watching this video and that video that you may even say is educational. Don't fuck around doing this thing that doesn't really need to be done, but can be done. Nah. Get your workout done, man. Prioritize it. Put it first. Because once that, out, that is out of the way, everything else will be much easier, 
much much easier and the workout itself will be so much more enjoyable <laughs> but yeah that's my two cents from today literally all i did today was some rdls and some leg press however i was able to change my state after I'd done those two things and the way I did that was through stretching and that wasn't my intention I planned to just stretch for 10 minutes but next thing you know I had time travelled and fucking 40 minutes had gone by I then proceeded to do some hanging which was kind of like the cherry on top of the cake and I left with far more energy far more energy than when I had arrived which I can't be mad at. I can't be disappointed at. Can't be ashamed of. Can't look down upon it. I have to acknowledge this day for what it was. It was a day to practice mental alchemy. And in hindsight, it was fun. It wasn't easy. I hate being in that state. It's a state I'm seldom in. So when I find myself there, I'm fucking fuming, frustrated, angry, disappointed with myself, so on and so forth. But coming out of that state and being responsible for you coming out of that state because that's the key to changing any state in my opinion first and foremost taking responsibility for the fact that you are where you deserve to be and you got yourself here not this person or that person i don't care if someone like crashes your car or da, 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 like crashes into you like you find a way to take responsibility for how you feel in that moment because you are responsible for how you react you're not necessarily responsible for how you feel per se but how you react to those emotions and those feelings it's all your responsibility and you can either choose to pull up to the gym do one thing be like no, i'm not feeling it and just fuck off home or you can just stick around hang around just do some shit and earn the right to feel better and feel different because you are where you deserve to be <laughs> you are and there is nothing better than consciously changing your state. There's nothing better than it. Nothing at all. Because you can look at that very certainly and see how, where and why you were able to do it. And it gives you a lot of confidence. It means the next time you encounter the type of feelings that you felt prior to changing your state on that day you can look at it and say no I've been here before I can do this it's not going to be easy but I got this you got this don't ever shy away from the challenge of changing your state definitely don't cower away from it that's the worst thing you can do have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.